So I just wanted to kind of link that into a point that, that I wanted to, to get your thoughts on, which was around accountability. So this is something that the organizations were doing anyway, was just trying to get more accountable, more data driven, more metrics, more um, visibility on everything they're spending. Certainly this is a, a key area for procurement, obviously when they're, when they're looking at their marketing services spend. Um, but a couple of, couple of points on that. Firstly, you've got the procurement angle on it. Um, and to be honest, we see this not just in marketing services, but cro across all services procurement is that COVID has had a significant impact where for companies, it's not good enough to beat a budget. You need to know what you're getting for your money. And sometimes spend like marketing services can be a little bit more esoteric, harder to pin down, harder to say what you actually got from it and all this sort of thing. Um, so there's that side of the accountability, which I'll be interested to get your opinion on. And then the second part of it is around things like values, diversity and inclusion, um, sustainability and stuff like that, which are becoming more and more important for end organisations in their supply chain as well. So how do you see those two factors? How have they been affected in terms of pure accountability being driven by the client? Wow. Um that's giant a giant question. You'll probably have a one-line answer. Now. I was going to say, I better have a one-line answer. Otherwise, it's going to be a really long podcast. <laughs> I mean, I, I think, I mean, I've got so many thoughts about this. I um, Procurement, I think, is a, uh, a discipline that is foolishly maligned by agencies. And I've thought that for a long time. And I, I, in fact, I sent a letter to Campaign Magazine, I think, at least 15 years ago probably closer to 20 years ago which kind of called them out on this and I don't think we've got much better if I'm honest which is ludicrous but the opportunity to engage with procurement and to understand from a, a kind of commercial perspective what the drivers are uh, of growth within their business I think it's a massive opportunity for agencies leaders marketing new business people to really connect with um, the commercial agenda within their their target client organizations so um, I think particularly now, if there's an increasing kind of um, focus about not just what we're spending, but what we get for the money, um, obviously that leads to a conversation about value. And um, I think that, you know, there is for many, many years, there's always been this conversation within the agency community. Magic and Logic, you might remember, was an initiative from, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago. Um, the sort of client and agency community trying to reconcile that there needed to be a, a sort of rigor and an accountability and a kind of commercial logic that sat underneath the kind of transformative, lateral thinking, creative brilliance of the magic. Yeah. And um, I think it's it was a, a sort of lovely concept, but I don't really personally view that it was something that was ever really, I suppose, um, successfully reconciled because the two are kind of fundamentally different things kind of cut forward to now i think we're in a really interesting time when actually if you are an agency person who's got their eyes open there's never been more encouragement not least from the client community but also from agency bodies as well um the ipa being chief among them um and huge credit to um you know, the leaders there, Mark Knorr and the commercial groups um, within that organization to really get the conversation about value and pricing out onto the table. Um, also huge credit to client side bodies like the WFA. I think um, if you've seen Project Spring, which is an initiative out of their global sourcing group, where it is the procurement community talking explicitly about the stuff you've talked about, you know, they're in the, the sort of evolving softer criteria that procurement people are increasingly looking for from their partners and suppliers, things like uh, diversity, things like sustainability. So the agency's credentials um, here are imp increasingly part of the conversation with, um, you know, with the people that are gonna spend the money. So I think that's a really positive kind of environment for us to start to talk about accountability and value. 